Okay, sixth grade, lesson 58. This is on probability and chance. Okay, when we're talking about probability, it's basically like if I was to say we had a 50% chance of rain. And so that would mean you have a 50% chance that it could rain or a 50% chance it could not. If I said there's a 70% chance of rain, then we have a 70% chance that it would and 30% that it wouldn't. Okay, so it's always, anytime you're talking about percent, it's always meaning 100, okay? Now, let's talk about probability, and let's use like if you were going to play a game, and we are going to use a spinner, okay? This is A section, B, and C. Now, are each of these sections broken up evenly? No. What would make this even? If you divide, well, Divided A. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do, or just made because it's always one. best to make sure that each section, all of it is correctly or evenly. Okay? So A is really this, but to help us out, you'll understand in a minute. Okay? So let me have a spinner, and it spins and lands here. Okay? Okay? Now, if I asked you, what are the chances that I have of landing in A section? In the A section? 50% chance. 50% chance, okay. So now let's talk about what it would look like as a fraction form. Uh, you could either do one half or 50 out of 100. Okay, or we have two A's out of uh, four. four. Two out of four, which is really, when we reduce that, one half, right? Okay, what's the probability that it will land in section B? Uh, one fourth. One fourth. You see why it's important that I divided this up? So I said one third, that's an incorrect. See mm -hmm. that? So we needed this to show that each portion is worth that. Okay, so B is one fourth. What about C? C is one fourth. Too. C is one fourth as well. Okay, so good job. Now, Meredith spins the spinner 28 times. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. That's some good information to write down. 28 times. About how many times can she expect the spinner to land in sector A? Well, sector A is how much of it? Okay. Uh, Tell me what a fraction it would be. How would that be? Tell me what A would be as a fraction. Uh, uh, we just talked half? about it. One, one half, half which is really two fourths, but then we made it one half. So, how many times will it approximately <laughs> land in A? <coughs> half of 28, right? Mm. Okay, as I was saying, since A is two out of four of these sectors, which is really one half when we reduce it, right? because this is half, A is half of it, okay? And so what is half of 28? 14. Oh, yeah. So 50% of 28 or half of 28 is 14. So it's likely that she will land in A 14 times. Doesn't mean that's the way it will turn out, but we're just doing a probability. Chances are, because she has more chances to land in A, doesn't she? Yeah, okay? So now, what are her chances that she would land in B? 28 times. Well, all of this is 28 times. So we'd have to divide it into four. Yes. And then, I so don't know what that is. 28 divided by oh, four. Seven. seven. Very good. And then, yeah, seven. Times. So, seven times in B. What about C? C, seven times. And what about A? Seven each. Times. Seven each, which is. 14. 14 no. Right. So 14 A, 7 for B, and 7 for C. Very good. So it doesn't mean that's exactly how it's going to turn out, but chances are that's what we're going to land. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's a probability of finding that. Okay? Let's try another one. Okay? This time we're just going to take a percentage. All right? And it said a typical day in September in Miami is a 60 percent chance of rain okay what is the probability that it will not rain 
of 40. 40%. Good job. So that was kind of easy to just figure out, right? Okay. Now, if they told you to write this in a fraction form, what is the percent, what is the chance that it will rain? 60 out of 100. Okay, which is reduced to... What's an easy way oh, to reduce? Oh, yeah, slash out the two slash zeros. Slash out the zeros at the end. Good, so that's 6 tenths. Will that reduce? Yep, okay. by 2. 2 will go into that's 6 3 times. 3 fifths. Very good. So there's 3 out of 5 chance that it will rain. Okay, let's try 40%. What's the chance that it will not rain? How would I write this as a fraction? Uh, you do 40 out of 100, okay. reduce it, okay, and then it end up uh, two fifths. Very good, okay. So it's more likely than it is that it will not. So it's more likely to rain, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you remember how we write this as a decimal? Uh, it'd be point zero, well, right. depending on what the number is. Right now, it's 60. Oh, uh, so be, over a hundred. Remember how we so talked about be that? Point, no, yes, point six zero. Very good. Point six zero. Why? Because there's hundred, tenth, hundredth, uh -huh. and it's sixty. Very good. What's the chance as a decimal for this one? Uh, point four zero. Point four zero. Okay. Very good. It could actually even be point six and point four. Did you know that? Yeah. Because all the zeros you but can not in the front of a number. Right. Right. Okay. Feel like you understand that? Mm -hmm. All right, I want you to think about you're playing a game and I pulled out a dice, okay? How many different numbers are on a dice? Different dot numbers. Uh, six? Six, six different, okay? So I'm going to write that down. That'll kind of give us a clue in just a minute. Okay, so if a number Q is rolled, what is the chance or what is the probability that the, the number that lands on top is going to be greater than four. Uh, two out of six. Two out of six. Very good. So she, you could have rolled a five or a six if it was greater than four, right? So I have two chances out of six, which is really reduced to one third. one third. So you have one in every three chances of getting that, a five or a six. You get how they're doing that? Mm -hmm. All right. You still staying with me? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to switch from the dice to marbles. Okay? Pretend I had a bag. And in this bag, I had five red marbles, four yellow marbles, two green marbles, and one orange marble. Okay. Okay. So, how many marbles are in this bag? That's probably the most important thing that you figure out. 11, 12. 12. There are 12 marbles. So, I'm going to write that down just for me to have some information. Okay. So, now listen to this. Brennan draws a marble from the bag and tells me what color it is. What's the probability of him drawing a red? Okay, 5 out of 12. 5 out of 12. Excellent job. You would tell me 5 out of 12. Will that reduce? No. Because no. 2 will go into 12 but not 5. 3 won't work. 4 won't work. 5 won't work. So, that's it. Okay? What's the probability of me getting a yellow? Uh, 4 out of 12. 4 out of 12, which would then reduce to what? Uh, I don't know. Four will go into four one time. Four will go into 12 three times. You have every time you pick, you have a one in three chance. Okay? Or four and 12. It both means the same thing. We just cut it different. Remember how we're talking about yeah. fractions? Okay. Okay. Um, listen to this. In the experiment, you still have those numbers written down? Mm-hmm. What is the probability that Brennan draws a primary color? Now, what are the primary colors? Red, yellow, blue. Red, yellow, and blue. Blue is not even mentioned. So, what are the probability of him finding red or yellow? Uh, Add it up on your paper. 
Okay, can you re-ask that question? Okay. Um, what's the probability that the marble that Brennan draws is a primary color? Color. Well, there's no blues, so so it would be nine out of twelve. Very good. There were five reds and four yellows, right, and zero blues. So five plus four is nine out of twelve total marbles. Will this reduce? Yeah, I think yep. so. Three will go to nine three times. Three will go to twelve four times. So there's a chance, a high chance, that you're going to get a primary color every time you do it. You're going to get They're a three. They're the two highest numbers. Yep. Okay. You got it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Last one. And this is going to be from your lesson practice, so you will not have to do E. Okay? But I wanted to teach you because it's a little bit tougher. Okay? And I'm going to use how they use how they draw it on here, okay? So stay with me for just a second. They draw it in your picture in the book on the E. Mm -hmm. You see that? Now, what's the most important to understand right here is that each of these shapes have to be even for us to be able to determine how much each section is worth. You understand what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. So, what's the best way for me to break this up where all uh, of just finish the X I started at the top? Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. So one, two, three, and then one, two, three. So we have six total, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so listen to this. Here's what they say. What is the probability that the spinner will land in the red sector? Uh, three out of six. Yes, very good. Three out of six, which is really three will go into three one time, three will go into six two times, half. What's the probability? If they asked you to tell the percentage, you would have written 50% because half is 50, right? Uh -huh. Or you could have just said half. Okay? What is the probability that it will land in the black sector? One out of six. One out of six. Very good. And what is the probability that he lands in the white? Two out of six. Which is really... What? Which oh, is really... One third? One third. Very good. So, red is going to be the highest probability. You get half of them will land. One third will land in your white and then one six will land in your red so you very rarely land in your black right mostly red and sometimes white got it that is lesson 58